G'day, you backbones. Oh, g'day, everyone. How you going? How's, how's, how's chat? As we're about to see an Ollie Bearman we're masterclass. About, we're about to see the Ollie Bearman show. Yeah. For, for the next little while here on Sky Sports. And, and rightly so, the young man getting his first shot in Formula One here today, Clem. Hey, are you excited for him? How are you feeling? Hey, mate. Hey? Do you know what? Certainly, certainly last year he was a young buck on the F2 grid. Yeah. And, uh, it, was only, it was only this morning he was a young buck on the F2 grid, actually. actually. Yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, this, this turn of events is quite something. Uh, but, yeah, no. Chuffed. Ready. It's, uh, it's going to be a cracker. The, Vers- the Verstappen show the Verstappen, potentially yeah. can go on. The Max Let's Verstappen see. Empire. He was fastest uh, in FP3. But uh, sure. as we know, the Red Bull isn't the fastest car on the one lap. It's definitely the fastest car above everybody else, mm. I think, on the race trim. But so I think it's going to be similar to 2023 where the most interesting day as far as competition is, is your, your proverbial Saturday. I mean, yeah. Today is obviously Friday. Friday. Um, Friday night, hey? Where are we going Friday tonight? Friday night. Friday night. Uh, I'm go- I'm probably just going to make a beeline home and have a quiet one. I've uh, got a little bit of admin I need to cup, you know, catch up on. Mm. Hey, this isn't your day job, is it? Uh, no, it's no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not. Put it simply, it ain't your day job. Out here, well, what can I say? You know, you got you got your Mercedes. They were looking pretty poor, actually. Yeah. Uh, Lewis struggling with the old setup. Not quite getting to grips with that W15. No, I don't think he cares. No, I don't think he cares either. No, he's off to, I don't know if... Uh, the prancing horse. Yeah, he's off to, very well done, mate. But he's <laughs> off to the prancing horse, the scarlet Ferrari. The scarlet red. Off Ferrari. to the scarlet red. Um, Do you know what? You sound like Martin Brundle. Thanks, mate. Off to the scarlet red. Um, well, his spot, the his spot was there. open. He could have actually gone and driven for that car probably today. But they've uh, they've decided to opt in for Oli Behrman. They've instead. gone for some young British talent. Yeah, yeah. Now, how funny is it that um, obviously I think a lot of commentators were saving the fact that uh, Lewis Hamilton was going to be the first British driver racing for a Ferrari in over and since nineteen since whenever ni- whenever. Yeah. yeah. Well, not anymore. No. <laughs> As we've got Oli Behrman. Behrman's kind of pissed on his parade a little bit. But, he has, hasn't he? Which you love to see. Yeah, you do. But uh, yeah, the young gun looks good that- actually with the yellow on his helmet. It's like actually quite the, fortuitously lined up with yeah. the Ferrari's trim this year. What about the blue, though? Blue's looking a little different. Looks a little bit out of place in a Ferrari, now, but, you know. is he going to get... Uh, are there any sort of uh, potential sponsors that need to be on the helmet required by Formula One? I don't know, because I doubt he'll have had the time to uh, get a lid in. I don't know. Oh, I, haven't looked at a, I haven't looked at Dave Ben. Oh, he's close to the pit wall on exit there. That would have been 250 grand there. I haven't the looked at uh, Dave Behrman's LinkedIn page yet today, but I'm imagining it is an absolute <laughs> thunderstorm of Ollie Behrman, which, which, which is all quite right. Good on him. Let's have a look. So we've got Miranda there with the old prime sub. Things you love to see. David Behrman. How good is that lid looking with the old Richard Milley? Millie. Millie. Do you reckon he's oh, wearing Millie, a Richard oh, Mill this weekend? Oh, Millie, oh, Millie. Uh, probably has to now. Yeah. Uh, he's probably got a lot of stuff on his wrists in between races. S- Sunday night, though. Oh, it's coming. Thank you very much. Right yeah, that, <laughs> and in the safe. Yeah, hey. See you next week, mate. And back yeah. at Marinello. Yeah, back on the sim. Yeah, back in the sim. Like, you've had your fun. You've had your 60 laps of fame. Yeah. They usually call it your 10 minutes of fame, but it looks to be 60 laps there for Ollie Behrman. But... It's a, show, it's a way to showcase his talent. Yeah, Dave Bannon. Yeah. What's he saying? <laughs> it's not all about insurance, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> hashtag events and hashtag rockstone. <laughs> Backbone. As we see him on track now, obviously the camera's all focused on the young man from Chelmsford. 50, Sadly uh, an Essex man. If you're trying to link up, by the way, as well, 15 minutes and 45 seconds to go in Q1 as of yep. right now. That's, uh, that's correct. As Guan minutes, Joe 40 seconds. has still sort of got a bit of a half a car. Yeah, oh Christ, it's all going on there, isn't it? Look at the speed that they're working on, though. It's, it's, it's rapid. It's, <laughs> it's frantic. It's like Armstrong's lift. It is. <laughs> as we see, uh, yeah, no, the... Um, Lando Norris setting up, uh, setting up his lap, really opening up that corner nice and wide, trying to get a good exit. Cameraman doing an absolute horrendous job at following the car. It's looking more and more like Vegas, isn't it, every time we come back to Jeddah? Well, the thing is, it's, it's a developing country. It's, it's putting is massive what, amounts is, is of that money. Is that what we're calling it? Well, it's, it's putting amount, massive amounts of money. He hits that in apex and looking lovely. Beautiful stuff. Close to the walls there. 
the old backbone from McLaren. He's gone in there. Oh, he's left a bit of room there on the inside. He could have gone for the wall. Quite a long section here. Quite impressively in them Formula One cars. Not really much of a lift, which is quite surprising. Now, points for the marketing team. Um, they've not covered up that Australia logo very well. And I mean, they've covered it up extremely well. You wouldn't know that it's there, would you? No. The Australia Zero. So they've, they have to cover it up. But um, Advertising 101, when you have to cover up a sponsor, do it in the most absurd like obvious crazy way possible yeah so that it's it's so obvious you're covering up a sponsor it becomes a news story in itself that you're covering up that sponsor and they still get the value out of the product quite similar to uh, the way uh, ferrari used to run the barcode absolutely there on the back right mate for the it was hanging out the back of uh, hanging out the, the back of schumacher for a yeah. while yeah <laughs> indeed as we see Lando Norris not really setting purple sectors. Greens there and Alonso purple in sector two. Stroll purple Stroll. in sector one. There we go. I mean, it's early doors, mate. There's one Max Verstappen no time set yet. So yes. no point in getting excited Still about Still actually colors. in the pit lane. Maybe yes. looking for a single run. Still in the lion's den, mate. Still exactly. in the lion's den. As, as you said it so well yourself, Max Verstappen single-handedly dropping the Liberty He's share price. He's destroyed Liberty Media's share price yeah, in no. this past week. Ollie Behrman bringing back some. To the UK, I believe so. the UK yeah, for sure. so some UK probably viewers will be tuning in. UK viewers will go, all right, I'll watch the English kid yeah, and his no, Ferraris, because sure. that's cool. As we see Fernando Alonso, uh, P1, Nico Hulkenberg in front of both of those McLarens. Yet again, the young man, well, now old, from Germany, out-qualifying, for the moment, the two Mercs. Yeah, as we're on board with Oli Behrman as he looks to finish his first qualifying lap of his Formula 1 career. Crosses the line, he's going to be 10th, 1 minute 30.1. 1.2 seconds off, a little bit of a struggle, but give him time. For, for, you know, for your first lap out, you know, it's not where we're going to judge him, it's the end of the session. What's going to matter is Hamilton crosses the stripe and goes 6th fastest on the medium tyre, mate. Quite Good on you. Important to note that. Yeah, and Russell a little bit slower, interesting. as uh, Both Mercedes on that medium tyre. Indeed, and uh, surprisingly, the Mercs, actually, it's all been a, a bit of a Russell show this year. Uh, it has. Lewis has been struggling, at least in the opening round in Bahrain, and, and as well in the uh, free practice sessions. As yeah. we see Charlie Leclerc uh, on his way, as, please, let's call him Charles Leclerc, as you would say in France, and he's two tenths down the road after the first Ooh. two sectors, and he's riding the curb quite beautifully, and on his way down into uh, the last corner. DRS wide open here now, of course, thundering down, sparks are Kimbo hanging out the back of Charles Leclerc, and he throws the brakes on, tips it in quite nicely. All clean and tidy. A little bit of a skate on the exit of the corner there, but all uh, relatively clean and tidy there for Charles Leclerc. Leclerc. Now, did you know that there was a shopping centre in France called Leclerc? It's quite similar to your Tesco's. Is it? Yeah. There's uh, Intermarché as well. Intermarché, yeah, so indeed. So, Terre Porcher's Ter dad owns. Exactly. Yeah. As we've got uh, Nico Hulkenberg getting impeded by Logan Sargent, it seems. Or could that be Alex Albon? Who I knows? He said this something a... idiot. They must have not caught that thing yes, in the middle. Yes, that's what he said, Logan Sargent there. So it looks like a slam dunk three-place grid drop for the uh, young man from uh, America. Indeed, Florida. Mate. But of course it was Logan Sargent yesterday who was uh, giving Lewis Hamilton all the sort of... Uh, well, that's the problem grief. with this track. It is a, it is a technical track. You, you do see a lot of the old 50-50 uh, grind there on the curbs. Mm. Um, yeah, that's that... Uh, Tony Hawk nose nose to tail slide. Yeah, 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 exactly. Really nice. Kevin Magnussen pops in a Third lovely fastest. time. The Haas again, quick in a qualifying session here. Do you know what I'm con I'm actually noticing quite a lot here though is that a lot of these cars are already on their second lap, and it looks like Piastri's gone quicker, and he's going quicker on his second push lap. So a lot of track evolution. Very interesting. Now, yeah. how much is that going to be rubber, mate, and how much is that going to be temperature? I think that's just going to be balls. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, and a lot of balls there from Oscar Piastri. Was that a little tup? I think that was balls and walls. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone quick and too. quickest. <laughs> As we see Ollie Behrman there, green sector one. Is he going to pop it on pole Ooh. similar to Formula 2? I would be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to, you know, he's doing a good job. <laughs> As we got Lando Norris slotting into second right behind his team. Go on, the B man. Go on. Go on, get, son. It, get it up into Q2, son. Fucking hell, he's only four tenths off. He's gone. Oh, boy. He's gone. Oh, boy. boy. He will get, get the letterbox open. 
He will get it into Q2. I have no doubt that this should Ferrari do. should really get into Q2. Let's not forget, though, he is driving about 16 seconds faster than he was last night. Yeah. So it's, it's a change of pace. Oh, oh he's fucking... He was right out to the wall there. And Ollie Behrman cracks open the DRS once more. Where's it going to be? It's going to be P4, motherfucker. And Hell yeah. And he's gone purple in sector oh. three. And you know what? He's Dave t- going at a bit of an eyebrow raise there <laughs> in the garage. Dave, get lay off the gear, son. Holy <laughs> shit. Look at him. It's, Dave is absolutely wild. <laughs> As we see Sergio Perez there, one tenth. Let's not forget Oli Bamman is two hundredths in front of Charles Leclerc there. Yeah, that's terrible. The share price of Charles Leclerc. Somewhere in a garage, Nicholas Todd is having a fucking freak out right now. <laughs> As we see Sergio Perez heading into the final corner. And he's nailed it. Verstappen, of course, is going to go P1. But let's not forget... Out here on Screaming Mills, the man doesn't exist. So right now we've got Oscar Piastri on pole. Max Verstappen's not going to count. So really, if he even goes purple sector three, doesn't I'm matter. still We're saying it's a, it. it's a Berman it's sector a, it's three. It's a Piastri pole. <laughs> At the moment, as Alonso's going faster than Verstappen in sector two. Wow. This um, is... This is cool, eh? Berman quicker than Leclerc that in is the a, first part of qualifying. That is... Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not in the business of counting chickens, mate, but that's bloody grouse. Yeah, it is fucking grouse. Up the B-man. As we've got Alonso there, pumping up the gears, flat out, DRS open, crosses the line. And Third, it's only third Second fastest. quickest. <laughs> well, no, second quickest. Second quickest. Yeah, no, we're indeed, ignoring, indeed. We're ignoring the existence of Max Verstappen. Leclerc's now sorted his life out, and he's put in a lap. That's uh, only two tenths faster than Berman. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, three. No, no matter what, James, Nicholas Todd is shooting himself. He's shitting himself. Yeah, he's absolutely, yeah. I mean, at this point... The apartment in Monaco, his whole lifestyle is flashing before his eyes. The, 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 as we're going to see, an onboard of Oscar Piastri, as you said, balls to the wall, quite oh! literally. Yeah, he's, he's tagged He's that. tagged a bit of the wall there. And uh, dadoosh. Uh, you know what? He's gone, he's gone ass first. Yeah. He's backed and... He, yeah, okay. Us front, there you go. Little, little and then, wiggle. And Behrman's done the same thing, I think. I think he, I he don't think he's touched. He didn't quite hit it, but whoa, that was I mean, close. Woo! Commitment from a guy who was just yesterday driving Dave. a Formula 2 wagon. Dave saw the invoice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he saw the invoice and was like, good jobs. <laughs> Look at <laughs> it. Yeah, that's the man. Yeah, that's a man who knows what a rim costs. <laughs> that's... <laughs> As, As we, we got, see Hamilton sparking away through sector one here. What a sector, though. I mean, n- bearing in mind the fact that it's practically all blind, so you can't see 100 metres in front of Lewis you. Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> He's going it's through first there. Ever, world's first legally blind Formula One driver. He is four tenths down on Max Verstappen in sector one. Bit of a struggle. Let's see how Russell fares against that. But uh, that so Mercedes, this is their soft tyre run. Yeah, but that Merck not looking super strong, is it? No, it hasn't been all year. We, um, we say in the second round. Yeah. <laughs> Old Russell. A tenth faster there than Lewis. Pretty cracking. Oh, five tenths. Look at him. Good second Nice sector. line there through Yeah, from good Hamilton. line. He hasn't, a lot of guys overshooting that first apex and really having to whip it back around. Yeah. And it, it looks like they're scrubbing off a lot of speed there. As uh, It looks to be like... Is that Max Verstappen slowing down? No, that's one of the RB Visa cash app. Uh, Mastercard, PayWave, Apple Pay, um, cars, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. You Sorry, forgot I forgot Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Crypto. dot com. Uh, as Lewis Hamilton slots into P eight, eighth quickest. Not bad. A little bit in front of Magnussen, but let's see if that's enough for um, for a uh, an appearance in Q two. Obviously, the cars this year quite close down to uh, obviously the the closing of the margins thanks to the regulations. Mm. And let's not forget. The cost cap. Yes, absolutely, mate. The, that all important and cost Russell cap. And Russell slotting into P4. So it's a we're douche in his team, mate. He's definitely got the good donkey this year, hasn't he? Well, it can only be natural due to the fact that Hamilton's leaving. Hamilton's turned his back on the team. Yeah. He's 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 pretty much got a call from old um, Fred, Frederic Vasseur and said, Toto, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. From from what it sounds like, um, 
obviously relationships still going strong but uh, yeah that's what they say as we see this sort of a fluo green there from the the uh from the, the man who will replace hamilton at mercedes hot daddy hulk if the board know what's good for them yeah well german in a car and a german, german car. in a german car and probably the only man who would be willing to take a one-year contract and i stand by that statement i think hulkenberg is going to mercedes i think hulkenberg is a no-brainer for mercedes how much money can like like that's so much salary they're not spending well yeah it's true on a very very good driver it's a stunning driver who's good. not going to complain he'll be great in the media great looking driver yeah fast driver um smart driver mm -hmm. all the sort of characteristics and and a, and a charismatic driver unfortunately yeah. not much coverage because he's german. driving a shit ass but mm, for a german quite funny yeah good good geezer and look at him off he goes now what would be a massive letdown is for him to go out there and drop an absolute shitter of a lap because yeah <laughs> would make us look like a real pair of twats actually but uh let's hope he can uh, pull something out in this first sector here 32 flat from verstappen it is a fast first sector from the uh the red bull the car knowingly mighty. Quite a nice, tidy-looking first sector yeah. from Hockenberg. Which, offered, which okay, tenths, all right. Not bad, not bad. He's there or thereabouts with he Hamilton through the first off, sector. six but that first, that first sector does look extremely strong from the Red Bull. Yeah. It's a Red Bull sector, isn't it? It's, it's true. kind of a... It, it, just, yeah. it just looks like... If Adrian Newey. Newey could design a sector... It would, would be, be that, that first yeah. sector, yeah, yeah, yeah. As we, oh, he's right up to the wall there, old hot daddy Hulk on his way. He's got his DRS wide open. Wide open. And he's ducked in there. Oh, he's gone green. Oh, green. Tony oh! hawks it over the curb, but he's not lost a lot of speed, mate. He's still on for a good one here, I think. Yeah, no, for sure. As you see Valtteri Bottas there, driving around in his kick, salver, gambling machine. Yeah, it's an odd one. It is. It, what about that green, eh? Leclerc goes to the top yep. on the 128.3. Yep, yep, yep. And we're going to see what Hulkenberg's going to pull out here. What's it going to be? It's going to be a one. Uh, it's a seven tenths off. It's not horrendous. He's got a bit of a margin to the guys behind. As we see Valtteri Bottas not obviously making a strong enough improvement. He's going to have one more lap. Yeah. But let's see uh, Let's see how this all unfolds. Now, is, is Guan Yu Zhou going to get out? As we see, the reason why his go. Sector 3 was just a little bit poor is just... A little just, bit pro They too, love but... riding on the old curb out there, eh? Mm. Yeah, it just it takes so much speed through See, now you, you were talking about uh, Tony Hawk. I think that's more of a Sean White sort of uh, little... Uh... I was almost going to do Najee Harris as well. You know, he was always good for those sort of short grinds. But, you know, yeah, I do agree your Tony Hawk's more sort of vertical aeronautical. Um, but a bit more sort of, you know, your Mark Webber. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know. Oh, what a trick that was down in Valencia back in 2010. He's, he's good at that trick. Did it at Le Mans as well. Yeah. Really good at the at the reverse kickflip um, <laughs> as Mark Webber. This uh, was at Logan Sargent. He's not had a very hot first sector there. And no. Guan Yu Zhou is... He is going to get out with one minute and 51 seconds to go. This is going to go. be, have to be quite the outlap. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> going to have to be a cracking outlap to get across the line on time. But... Imagine he gets out of Q1. That would be quite be something pretty awesome. from the man pretty from China. Do you know and where exactly in China he's from? I, I, I wouldn't want to guess, but I'm going to say Shanghai. I don't know either. But uh, lovely character. G really good, nice guy. Loves a bit of karaoke. Of Lo loves a karaoke or Guan Yu Zhou. Mm. Logan Sargent, really not good first two sectors. And he's out going and going and going yeah, his, not, his teammate quite look. significantly in front of him but strong well let's not forget yeah he's he's improved slightly on his time but it's not going to be enough let's not forget though that he didn't partake in fp3 this morning down no, to a, um, a, a bit of a tangle with the inside of uh, turn 23 or 22 if i'm not wrong uh ricardo close to the wall there or is that to, no that is daniel Mm -hmm. On his mm -hmm. way, he's got his DRS wide open. Drama. Drama. At the start of the week with Ricardo and Sonoda. And he's gone straight, as they all do significantly now. They may as well just remove the curb, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's been a bit of a dramatic start there for the old racing bull cash app Visa RB. Um, Crypto.com. Sorry? Crypto.com. Crypto.com, yeah, I forgot the last one. As Max Verstappen goes fastest once again... Good exit Using a lot from of Ricardo. Road. Yeah, quite close to the wall. Gets that DRS wide open. And he's 11th. All right, so who's in the danger zone? It's Bottas. It's Stroll. It's Sonoda. It's Sonoda. 
It's bloody uh, Magnuson. As we see, Lawrence, Str sorry, Lance Stroll. Um, Snowder's not in the danger zone. He's ninth. Oh, good lap from Lance. He's got that purple sector too. He's looking strong. Doing his usual trick of actually looking pretty good at the start of the season, and bang! Holy shit, he's put it into P2. Only nigh on less than a tenth off Sir Max Verstappen. Sir so, Max Verstappen. Yeah, I figured I'd upgrade him. Um, oh my god, it's such a violent colour scheme, isn't it? It is. It? It's it is so it, green. Do you know what? We've we've got a we've got a new lighting system here so that we can look a bit better in front of the camera. Well, so and do you know like... what? That stake is stronger than that. I reckon we could turn our camera off as long as we stay on board with Valtteri Bottas. If you stood in front of that car, you could film the weather in front of it. So that fucking green. <laughs> yeah, quite quite true. As the uh, stake mechanics look uh, confused as confused. to why they're still shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll well, do it so that's that we're through Q1 here people I don't yeah. think Sargent's really going to improve and, Albon's uh, by the skin of his teeth and Behrman's made it through up in the P9 position up mate. into P9 he's got into Q2 that's do you know what that's just fucking the rest cool. is a bonus mate I think to be honest like he's done his job he's got the th he's dragged the thing out of Q1 mate if he gets into Q3 I reckon I reckon you do Q3 topless no, I'm not going to commit to that. Okay. No, because I back him. I back him, mate. You much, actually you back know? him to I, get into Q3. Him. Those are tight gaps there, but it's true. As we see one of the Alpines, or is, is, it, looking... is it both uh, Le Pain racing cars that are out in uh, Q1? I don't know, but my... Is it the singular or both? Uh, As... Probably both. Yeah, looking at their showing in... Uh... Yes, both Le Pain racing drivers, uh, Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon out in Q1. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Ocon quicker, though. Ocon quicker, indeed, as he was last weekend. Strong start from uh, the Frenchman in front of the uh, Frenchman. Uh, yep, not the start they would have wanted down at Alpine. No, absolutely not, mate. And, and um, I think I speak for most Formula One fans when you say I love to see it. Yeah. Stroll, what a showing from him in this early part mate, of qualifying. P2. Proper. That's going to be a confidence gain for him, a confidence boost there heading into Q2. Better helmet from him this year as well. I like that carbon. Carbon on a helmet always goes good, doesn't it? I don't know about always, but uh, when it's done right, it's done well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good on See, you. a few more fans here than we had for the Formula 2 race, so they're starting to filter into it. It's a hell of an outfit there. Lady in the pink hat, take a bow. What a setup. That is a setup. How good. Uh, Valtteri Boss has P16, so he is out. Oh, and he's pissed. Unbelievable, he says. Is it that unbelievable? He was one tenth up on himself, so what happened? He was up was himself. Was he impeded? Was he up himself? Yeah, I th he had one digit up himself, apparently. Mm. Um, okay, well, we'll look into that for Valtteri Boss but it looks like people are, you know, in the... Quite funny stat there. I'm going to be uh, the... Um... Uh, Ted Kravitz of uh, of our little uh, Screaming Mills thing here for a second. Sure, but, sure. Uh, actually, this Jetta track is the track with the most hospitality boxes uh, around the whole F1 calendar. Yeah, Behrman noted for a maximum delta time, so that's oh, no bueno. That's not looking great. Oh, no, no, no. As we've got Lewis Hamilton and... Alicia, Alicia Keys. Keys! I love Alicia Keys. Great singer. Oh. What about that Super Bowl performance, though? Getting oh. quite handsy with the old Usher. Usher was getting very handsy. It, yeah, very handsy. Looked like he could be running Red Bull Racing at the Super Bowl there, Usher, but, you know, I didn't like to see that. But anyway, no, she's fantastic. I love I'm Alicia gonna Keys. stick so far away. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. Don't know the lyrics, sorry. Oh. Yeah, nah. If it ain't you, baby. Massive disappointment. Oh, right, mate. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, sorry. Not an Alicia fan? I love Alicia Keys, just don't know her tunes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as we see Oliver Behrman, two tens clear for Q2. Solid showing. Um, let's see what he can do there in uh, the old Q2. Yeah, what's Tifosi 0.0%? It's on the car. Is it a beer thing? I believe it's not Tifosi. I Peroni. believe it's Peroni. They've done that thing. Oh, no way. They've put oh, Tifosi 0.0. Peroni 0.0. 0. 0. 
Oh, do you know what? That is another smart way to do it. There you go. Don't just don't just black out the logos, folks. A lot of people Make saying covering point. Peroni. That's a, it's, it is a talking point, though, isn't See? it? See, now it's a story, and now we're talking about Peroni. Fancy a Peroni? And a lot of people in chat saying that's real cool. Hats off to Ferrari there for not fucking something up. There you go. As uh, <laughs> as we got the uh, Valtteri Bottas there. Yeah, no, nah, he's obviously fuming at that and that's going to be a slam dunk penalty for a couple of them uh, and that's when he was he had one, yeah, one he finger was one up one tenth himself. up so yeah. um don't think we'll know that section there as we've got All some right. Ferrari fans bit of a, in bit the of a wait around between Q1 and Q2 yeah. or am I just excited Clint is that what I think on? you're just excited you know? at seeing you oh, yeah. tucking into a vape there oh, oh, your guilt. backbone with the vape <laughs> milf um <laughs> Sergio Perez in the garage looking over some data. Light smoke visors. In yeah, this well, you, you tend to do that as uh, the night progresses. Mm -hmm. uh, you you want to have maximum visibility, especially um, under the, 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 the darkness of uh, a, a dark sky. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. makes no fucking sense whatsoever. No, it made a lot of sense, actually. It just sounded stupid. As you see, Lance <laughs> Stroll in the garage. You can tell by the eyebrows. And look at him. He he knows he's got a car underneath him that can get him pole. He has been on pole once before. Does he? He has. Does he really have the look of a man who knows that he's got a chance for pole here? Well, it's all I I'm going to say. The two Red Bulls, and sorry, the two, uh, uh, not Alpha Tories, the two Aston Martins have been in strong running, strong running this year. And uh, looks, looks like Russell's just stopped, which is against You're the rules. You're not allowed to do that, George. Interesting. Um, oh, no, they're cute because the session isn't live, is oh, it? Oh, yeah. There you go. That's that's the reason why. From that moment onwards, though, they'll progressively get up to speed at a couple of k's an hour down the pit lane. And they'll progressively all be on the radio going, eh, he's stopping. You're not allowed to stop in the pit lane. Eh. Well, you know. I hate what that. What can I say? Racing drivers as a whole. Uh, uh, sorry? What? <laughs> uh, no, they, they like to police what's going on track quite mm. heavily. Uh, especially all if it's the massive car in front. Narcs. Oh yeah. They're just massive, massive narcs. Der brain loser narcs. Well, you know, if you're in that P two and the guy in front is doing a bit of track limiting, you want to be reporting that to the old Stewies so you can get yourself an extra spot. That's probably why I never made it, eh? Because I just would have been like, you know what? They'll see it, and if they don't see it, then that's on them. Yeah, fair you enough. You know, just what well, I don't need a little ruin my day. Yeah, what about uh, George Russell there in P5? Quite uh, significantly slower than the Red Bull on the straights. Funnily enough, though, Max Verstappen, the only Red Bull quick on the straights. Could that be something? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> As we've got uh, the cars preparing for their... Uh, they're currently on their outlap, actually, preparing their first push lap of Q2. Significant amount of cars still in the pit lane, probably creeping at a couple of, couple of k's an hour. Um, but yeah, as we're looking at the scarlet red of uh, Charles Leclerc, the Ferrari, number 16. He is number 16. Do you know how to say 16 in French? I don't. Says. Says who? Says who? <laughs> 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 oh, James, you're on fire today, mate. Thanks, mate. Uh, so... What's he on? On the soft tyre here? Well, he's, of course, going to be on the soft tyre. Badumt. What? Have you not heard that sort of uh, thing? Badumt. Yeah, but what was the joke? Well, no, it's just I read it from the chat. Oh, okay. as, uh, <laughs> George Russell setting up his lap, as you can see him. I don't like the blue off, gloves. Knocking off a few knobs there on the steering wheel. <laughs> and he's up there, gears, and DRS is wide open. Quick grab of the lid. Always love to do that before the start of a push lap. Do you have a favourite knob in the car? Um, I actually like to uh, fuss around with the brake bias quite a bit. Yeah. The, the old brake bias knob. Yeah, yeah, no, good stuff, mate. As we see Russell tearing through sector one. Sparking away, double apex it. What's it going to be? 24, 24. Ooh, a little 26. bit of a snap in between the two there, between eight and nine. He's riding that curve yeah, nicely and going down the straight. Is he going to go purple sector one? No, he isn't. It's not a good sector one. He is uh, significantly, I think, slower than his teammate. Yeah. 
But uh, let's see, he's got a nice little turn seven there, eight, nine, ten. Quite difficult to keep. No, it's not even turn seven, it's no, turn it's 12. Turn 16 here. Yeah, actually. so he's on 16 now. So it's yeah, quite difficult to keep up with the corner numbers. 18. Now. 18, uh, as he heads into 19. Yep. And uh, 20 is next. 20, yep. yep. And then you've got your 21 into your 22. What's the one after 23? A 24. Uh, thank you. All right, so. Oh, Nico Hulkenberg has lost the power. Oh, dear. Something is wrong on the Haas. Now, well, that's a problem. We've heard that before. Yep. What's Gunter up to these days? Is he? He's uh, taken a bit of a... He's hiatus? Done a, he's done a Clem Novelak, actually. He's got into full bro broadcasting. He's, right. Uh, he's retired from, uh, from the sport and become a broadcaster for Wise. German TV. As we've got a yellow flag in Sector 1. Has somebody crashed? Could there be a wall there for someone? No, Holkenberg's it's just Nico Hulkenberg's it. just parked it. Ah, uh, well, that's going to be a bit of a pickle. And that could throw a spanner there. in the yep. works for a few guys who are on a lap. Some of the guys still in the pit lane. Verstappen, notably, Stroll, and Alonso. Yeah, that what could play quite say? nicely the, uh, into their the, hands. The, the, the two... Um... Oh, I forgot. Oh, dear. Red flag. Aston Martin. Why do I keep forgetting Aston Martin? Red flag, red, red flag. Red flag is out. All right, with 10.58 to go in the session, Hulkenberg's parked it up. And that's going to be uh, a bit annoying. Palm for, Angels uh, getting the money worth there. For the uh, future Mercedes man, Nico Hot Daddy Hulk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's happened here? He's just driving He's just along the straight. up the gears. And... So he's in the tow, in the tow. He's in the oh, hunky tow. dory at this point in time. Yeah, it's perfect. And he's going down the gears all swift and nice. And something... Is he pushing no, or not? No, he's not pushing. Something must have gone wrong there in the... Uh... Or is he? No, 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 ah, no, no, no. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That vibration there. Every time he's sort of going up gears seems to be a bit is of a... Is it a clutch issue? I don't know. Maybe hydraulic? I like there to think... Well, I, we can uh, only speculate from the sofa. Yeah, you can only speculate from our position right now. But uh, he's parked it up there and it's a ready. That's a great hat on that flag, Marshall. Do you know what? That is class. He looks a bit like Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think he's actually um, channelling his inner Johnny Depp. Similar mm. to Russell was last week, the sort of Johnny Depp, God, Ellen DeGeneres cross. Look. God, that was a bad look from George that Russell. That was a strong look from a man who was starting, I think, P3 back then. But uh, yeah. full of confidence in the new W15. He looked like a real softball enthusiast that day. What is a softball? Red flag, mate. So that's a lot for Ollie Behrman to contend with on his, uh, you know. Well, he a, was out on his out lap, I believe. It's high he, drama. He may have been on a push lap. Let's see. Um, but yeah, no, high drama out in this uh, first session. As uh, whilst we wait. Oh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Great football player. Notably, very famous for his bicycle kick, which he scored from roughly 30 yards Isn't out. Isn't he famous for just loving himself more than That like, too, that too. Itself. Yeah, no, that too. Yeah. Um, very talented football player. And a, a and, a, and a great lover of himself. Yeah. And a great lover, I've heard. As we and see it. Hamilton wheel backwards into the Mercedes garage. Where have you heard that from? Uh, you don't want to know. Yeah. You might want to stay away from that one. <laughs> All right, so I hate a red flag in qualifying. It's, it's quite just, dull, it's just isn't it? It's anticlimactic. All right, let's hit the chat. How let's many, hit the chat. Uh, Any sort of questions fire there? Fire through your questions in, yeah. in, in the chat. And Give us some questions, Zach. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? What do let's you want to know? Read. Let's not stick too close, James, because my camera's shite. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ollie is the first F1 driver to make his debut with Ferrari since 1950. That's Weekend plans. Good stuff. Well, this. This and boozing. St. Pete live stream. Yep. You've heard it here first. If James isn't present, he'll yeah. be in a big doo doo. Char I'm the maybe. So I'm the maybe. people want a lesson on how to say Charles Leclerc. Well, properly. he calls himself Charles Leclerc. But it's Charles Leclerc. Yeah, but he call I, I can only go on what he calls himself, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be live all weekend. Um, got to come up with a lot of bullshit to talk about. Yeah, no, the LMP steering wheel's got more buttons than the F2. Interesting wagon to play around with. Well, it doesn't have that many more, but the, 
thing is with the the you're using a lot more buttons let's say when are you each next competing in something so i myself uh, i myself will be uh racing in the elms championship james himself will be uh driving in the alfa romeo um uk championship so one race one race at some point this <laughs> year point yet that is not, not confirmed. confirmed um we will get a special we'll race 24 hour race 24 mm. oh yeah we are doing a karting 24 hour race you'll know of that uh, very soon i hope yeah that'll all be that's a thing that is a thing it's a thing with other people not just us that is a thing as we see the cars lined up there on the old fast lane yeah they've got this red done pretty quickly which i'm happy about yeah it's it's not been too much of a wait as we've said 11 to go in the session how's my pits pretty good actually sweatless <laughs> as we've oh, got pete bonington still at mercedes oh yeah no oh, pete. Cl nice close up there of a guy on his whistle <laughs> You know what, Pete Bonington, ex bodybuilder. Really? Well, look at the shoulders on the man. Yeah. He is built. Yeah, you can see it. He is built like a brick shit house. You As can see. As we see it. Lewis Hamilton there heading out on track. The uh, young man from Stevenage, not too far from where uh, I reside occasionally. <laughs> where you reside occasionally. <laughs> It's the, it's the most subtle way of somebody saying, I have many houses. Like, <laughs> like you've ever heard. As Ollie Behrman in the car, and he's warm in those tyres, getting him up to temperature there. For now, his, Mark's uh, off small Ferrari logo. He needed to go bigger on the Ferrari yeah. logo on the helmet. It's not there. quite a show off. Yeah, he needs to really let these C's know that he's driving for Ferrari. A lot of questions in chat about where I am from in France. And You're from Avignon, is, aren't you? Provence. Provence. Are you Provence. From Provence? I thought Provence. you were from Avignon. Yeah, Provence. Is that in Avignon, in Provence? Not really. It's oh. a bit more north, but I'm not actually from Avignon. I'm from Aix en Provence. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. Uh, as we see Russell track dominance against Hamilton, Hamilton just pretty quick in the straights and uh, Russell dominating more or less the rest of the track. As we've ah, got. Here's a good question. If an F2 driver gets called up to the Formula 1, how does all the insurance stuff work? Well, he's going to have to uh, give uh, someone like James a call. Yeah. Say, hello, mate. Um, and if he's at any, any good at his job, he's already seen it coming. And yeah. And they've pre-agreed. Okay. And that's, that's probably the, the most likely. Ollie, being... Ollie will have paid a premium. Let's... As, let's, let's just watch his on board rather than bore everyone with insurance chat. No, nah, I'm going to go insurance chat, actually. Um, Ollie will have paid a premium. Of, it will, will have been more than this, but let's say £1,000. Oh, a bit of a snap there on the exit of T2. That £1,000 that will have covered him for his Formula 2 season. Oh, As lock he locks up a from... break and he's going to have to abort this lap. Yeah, it's not going to be a good lap. Now, if I was him, though, I'd keep going. Correct. Um, and if his management was smart, they will have negotiated an upfront agreement for in the event that he is called up to a Formula 1 race to save any running around on the day. It's an agreed upon fee of an extra, say, £100 per Formula 1 race. So 10% AP, additional premium, on what he's already paid for his Formula 2 season. Now, flip side of that coin, what happens with Carlos Sainz? He obviously can't race this weekend. Now, Depends on how his contract at Ferrari is structured. If he's paid per race, and if he cannot race due to an accident or illness what occurred whilst in the car, then um, he's still paid his salary, then that's no worries. If he's not paid his salary, then his personal insurance will pay out his salary that he will have missed out on for this race. So let's say if it was um, a million euros per race, then the insurance payout will be in the region of a million euros. Thanks, James. Uh, as we uh, get back to uh, Perez right now on his flyer, as we've seen uh, Max Verstappen gone purple, slightly, well, he's just been beaten in sector one, so let's see who's faster. As uh, Perez heads sector two, 500ths down on old uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Daniel yeah, he's Ricciardo. going well, Ellen DeGeneres, actually. <laughs> yep. As uh, Daniel Ricciardo up the gears. Verstappen, three tenths game. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people in chat saying that was a very interesting chat. Yeah. Thanks, James. Well, you're welcome, mate. You tried to poo-poo it and shut it down, but, you know. And Perez goes fastest, 700th faster than George. 
Okay, what's Max going to do? Alonso Purple Purple. I've told you, mate, this Aston Martin looks like it's on rails for Max quality. is playing with his food, I'm telling you right now. You think he's playing with his food? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> As uh, Max just goes fastest goes to the top. by half four a second and a half faster tenths. than his teammate. Yep, your classic sort of. Uh, and Alonso. And Alonso, 400. Just falling down. short of that's, the final hurdle. That's. Uh, it's going to be a close one heading into uh, Q3, I think. As we see Leclerc also quite quick. All taking quite a lot of that curb, but mm. it seems to be the case nowadays in Formula 1. You want to be carrying that minimum speed. Oh, for sure, mate. And sacrificing a little bit of that exit just to carry that much more minimum. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in my days in Formula 1, I was always sort of, I think, over-focused on slowing the car down too much. Yeah. Um, Hence you were but that was my error. That was my error, you know. Um, you were just slow as a result. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. As we see, uh, Leclerc Retract. slotting into P3. Waxed it into third, ahead of the Red Bull of Perez. Uh, and only a tenth off for Stappen. Tight gap up top. But, I mean, it was... Yeah. Um, we've got some questions from chat whether I would be considering going to touring cars. Um, maybe. You'd never write it off, I suppose. Yeah. What well, kind of touring cars? You know? Well, you all sorts of different Would you go for your, your Porsche or your Ferrari or your, your Lambo? If I had to pick a touring car, do I have to pick a championship or do I just have to pick a wagon? Just a wagon. Just a wagon. I would like to give one of the McLaren GT3s a go. Mm. The, you know, the 650s or the 720s. I think the 650s are the GT4. Yeah. But what I would really like to drive is an LMP3. I think that would be my car. Do you know That's, what? They I think would be the most. Well. Yeah, that would be the most fun. Maybe one day we could organise that little M LMP3 gig for all, James. Yeah. Race at Petit Le Mans. There you go. Oh, could be on. Could be on. Little screaming media team. As we got uh, Oscar Piastri now starting his push lap. Looks like that's uh, the lap that he wants to take him into Q3. Good on the curb in turn one and turn two. Ride him those quite nicely. You want to use that to get the car rotated for the exit. Going into T3. Oh, he's taking some... That is fast. Unless that was just the camera angle. I mean, it could be a bit of both, mate. It is a Formula One car. Bamming on an outlap for those of you tracking his progress. As we see Piastri about to finish the first sector. What's it going to be? It's a 31.9 from Verstappen. And it's going to be a 32. Oh, bloody not that Two far zero off. for Oscar Piastri in sector one. I told you he was fast. And he's looking rapid in, 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 that, in that McLaren. Yeah, he's looking really nice. Really struggled with those words there. <laughs> yeah, hey, mate, you struck it together just fine. As he tips it in through turn 17, 18. And he's gaining time as well on the exit there. Oh, he's actually had a bit of a mischief. Ooh, he's got no toe. Look at the delta going down. Yeah, he was up two and a half tenths, and now he's down. There. But he's we had a nice up. stable braking performance there, though. Tony Good. Hawks a little bit over the curb. And he's going. Through now into the final Lenovo section. He's got that huge letterbox open on the back of his rear wing, and he's going into the last corner. Just one more braking zone to breaking worry about now. Braking zone, correct. Doesn't lock up, carries a lot of speed Looks in. to rotate it quite nicely there. Yeah. Actually nice and clean Use on the exit. Not too much of the track on exit. Decent job from the young man from Melbourne. Behrman's had a rough first sector. Yeah, he's had a toughie in the old first sector. <laughs> yep. Is he going to keep it going though? He kind of needs to just press on and hope the next lap's better, I think. Well, the thing is you don't want to be using all that battery. As we see Lando Norris. Good. Good turn 22. Up the gears. Oh, he's only four tenths off for Stappen as Behrman with you... that shit first sector. So that's pretty good. Fucking hell. Ollie Behrman's going for Q3. How good was his first sector? His first sector must have been insane. But yeah, that's... <laughs> or his shit. second sector's unreal. Yeah, one of the two. Because Lando goes up to fourth. Where's Behrman going to go? Where's Behrman going to go? If he goes P1... He won't, but... P11. <sighs> ah, he needs to find a couple of tents there. Oh, jeez, there's a lot to go. He's got, he's got one lap. He needs to recharge that battery. There's a lot going in that first sector. He's yep. going to get one more go at it. Yep, yep, yep. Has he made a mistake? It looks like it, because... Yeah, he's just made a, a mistake long. just a little bit long as the Tifosi 0, 0.0 there on the front of the car. Yeah. <sighs> okay, well, that's a lot of time. That is a lot of time he can find. He's just... Oh. Jeez, he's pushing it. Mate, 
That is fucking commitment yeah. for, a, for, a, for a young gun driving Fair play to the man. And that, that's an Omega swatch on Dave Behrman there. I quite like that. Good, good watch. CEO of a Ventum Group. Good watch game. Yeah. He's definitely got some heavier hitters than that. He just knew he was going to be on TV today. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to show off. So he's, yeah, he's, put the, them he's put the up. gold protect back in its box for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Alex Albon going through sector one. He's really tidy. Looking... Looking strong. Not a lot of sparking from the, uh, from the uh, Williams. No, which tells you they might be running a low downforce operation. Possibly. And he's only a tenth off Hamilton in Sector 1. Uh, were we looking at Verstappen or Hamilton when Behrman was down? For- no, it was, it was Verstappen. I'm pretty sure it was. But uh, very tight up top. Yeah, only uh, no, half a second between Hamilton in tenth and Verstappen up top. So uh, let's see. Let's hope for a Behrman masterpiece there on the last lap. That's what he needs to get into Q3. Yeah. In that no, scarlet quite right, red Ferrari. Quite right. Driving the prancing horse. As we've got Alex Arbon. Now, who else is... Sonoda's having himself a nice little session so far. Not, up there, yeah, up there not in the bad. P9. He's, he's doing a good job in front of Daniel Ricciardo. These two, famously fighting for the uh, second Red Bull seat. Currently occupied by Sergio Perez. Whew. Oh, I said I'm quite tired. Hmm. Yeah, you just noticed our microphones. Don't worry, they're going to get a lot better. Yeah, we've got a big old fucking number to whack on the top of them. Yeah, right soon. Are they arriving today? A lot of people saying purple really is my colour. And do you know what? I don't disagree. Yeah, well, Chuck <laughs> Bass wore a lot of purple, of course. Well, you know me. Big fan of uh, his style. Mm. Very classy. As we see Oscar Piastri slotting in front of his teammate in P4. Couple of tenths to the good. All right, Berman's on another one. Let's see how he fares against Sonoda's lap time. He's, he's only three hundred. Down on him by bugger all through S1. That's but it's, a, be a, but good. it's a green S1. It's a green sector one for Ollie Berman. Is he going to go this for This is quite a, tense, actually. Yeah, this is extremely tense. I wish tense. they'd show us the lap. I don't really give two hoots about Ricardo, to be perfectly no, honest. I'd and like I'm surprised watch, that... Oh, no, this is F1 TV, not Sky Sport. I'd mistake. like to watch Oliver Behrman. Ricardo's not going to get past Sonoda. He's three and a half tenths off after two sectors. Yeah, he's about a decade. Put Behrman on. He's a decade too old to be here. Wow, this is going to be tight. He's a thousandth behind Sonoda in sector two. Wow, this is, this is going to be close. This is going to be really close. Is Tsunoda even on a push lap? Well, as long as he doesn't make a meal of that corner again. That's the know. whole point, yeah. He needs to really nail that sector three. Tsunoda, Ricardo, is he? Is he? I think he's way off. Is he? Oh, three fucking hundreds. Oh. Fuck. But do you know what? Let's face it, he's half a second off Max Verstappen. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, Perez is half a second off Max Verstappen on a good day. Yeah, okay, but he's in a Ferrari. He's only, no, I agree. That's what he's I'm only four tenths off Leclerc mm. on his first outing. Yeah, that's now, good if, if anybody that is a good needed, effort. If anybody needed any sort of proof that rookies can get into an F1 car and deliver, that's the one. Yeah, there you go. Hamilton scraping through in 10th. Reckons he couldn't improve. Well, do you know what would have been interesting? Oliver Behrman out qualifying Hamilton. That would have been one headline. Mm. Knocking Hamilton out to Q2. Yeah, that would have been very funny. But anyway, not to be. Um, There you go. The B-man in in P11. Q2. Mark Armstrong be proud. He would be proud. Still, obviously, on suicide watch. Yeah. Yeah, Marcus and and Schwartzman are both on suicide watch uh, this week. Uh, just uh, everybody just check in with them if you see them running around a paddock just make sure they're okay yep As, uh, what a shame for Ollie Behrman but at the same time Great stuff. choice of the tyres tomorrow as well Ex- oh no that doesn't matter anymore uh, it's out the window well fuck <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah you've been watching a lot of Formula 1 eh? yeah, I'm, yeah I don't pay attention to the miners mate no it's all about it's all about IndyCar and Formula 2. Yeah, that's where they're... All right, well... As we see, so Ollie Behrman, significantly quicker than Hamilton through, through 7 the all the way to 10. Basically through the corners, it seems, yeah. Hamilton's Apart just getting carried to by 18. his engine. Yeah, 
All I'm saying is... Uh, Batman's more of a talent than, than Hamilton, is what that statistic tells us, isn't it? That is graph it, shows us is that. Is that what you're going for? Is Batman that is a more talented driver than Lewis Hamilton. That's what that... I mean, I, are you going to argue with the graph? The graph just says he's quicker, <laughs> except in the straights. I wouldn't say Hamilton's got less talent than Ollie Behrman based purely on performance oh, and uh, championships. I think I would. That is a bold statement from, um, from James Blair. But that's what we're here for. Bold, yeah, bold statements. statements here at Screaming Meals. We'll hear plenty of them. <laughs> and Behrman going on about it was a messy session. Well, do you know what, mate? That was a messy session. I'd like to see what wasn't. It sounded a bit kinky from you there, but uh, yeah, we'll get another replay of... He's really all over the wall. He's going for it. He is gunning for it. Let's not forget, he is driving a £12 million car. Yeah. Significantly more expensive than a Formula 2. Yeah. As much as Bruno Michel wouldn't like it to be. Oh, mate, imagine if Bruno Michel was selling the spare parts for the F1. He would be absolutely chopping it. As we've got Behrman... Under investigation after session because he's failed to follow the maximum delta time out on track. I mean, that, that steward's room session goes along the lines of, guys, it's my first day. First day in the office. It's my first day. It's not even his first day, yeah. like, racing. It's his, it's his first day in the wagon mm. on an F1 event. Yeah. What about Callum Eilert in the old uh, Aaron it's, McLaren? Yes, but it's the weekend of the super sub, isn't it? It's, it really um, is. Looking for a big result, I hope. He is, mate. He is. Uh, I think he'll get one, to be honest, as well. Same. I think. I he's, think he's in a he's in a great position. I think he's to, a, uh, I kickstart think... his his well, not kickstart, restart his career after his uh, less than um... gracious uh, departure from Hunkos Racing. Yep. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> Not really much... Uh, no, we uh, can legally say on that one. Yeah. Um, okay. we can't but no, good to see much. him get another opportunity to show what he can do in, uh, in top... As we see Nico Hulkenberg looking at Oli Behrman's result, no? Is it, oh, what, what's, what's, he, what's he shaking his head about? Maybe the fact that... Uh, I think oh, there's some music the going. Tunes. I think there's some beats pumping. He's living for the tunes, that man. Yeah. Bit of a raver, old Nico Hulkenberg. Oh, I've heard. I've heard. He loves a rave. As... Uh, Behrman there the with B-man. his... Uh, is that his usual trainer? Don't know. Or has is he, is he just hired a new replacement for the... Uh, I think he's hired a replacement for it's his probably... Ferrari. Yeah, it's probably a team trainer or something. I don't know. But yeah, no, Callum Eilat in, uh, in the wagon tomorrow, you, or two days' time. You're going to have to be compensating for that, mate. The, uh... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it, mate. Round one of IndyCar... I mean, as we've established, this Formula One business is just a processional fucking... I don't even know what it is. It's just a, a procession. It's like a show. It's like it's like the Gumball Rally, you know? It's just cars not really overtaking Cars are all there. Other. You go, hey, wow, cool. And then they all set off, and one's much quicker than the rest of them. And you go, oh, there's a bunch more, though. And nice. And you're like, cool. Yeah. It was a, and it's usually in a city or a glamorous location where people have paid a, a lot of money. Yep. Um, and there's usually a lot of wankers everywhere. Well, the thing is, uh, obviously, this race being in Saudi Arabia, will we see an appearance from Cristiano Ronaldo? Is he, um, he's got a gaff out there, doesn't he? Well, he's playing out in Saudi yeah. at the moment uh, for Al... Oh, I forgot the name of the yeah. team. Al... Snack Bar or something. <laughs> no, I think it's... Uh... Oh, I forgot the name, actually. Help me out, chap. But... Um... I don't know. I'm uninterested in... In football? Football, and I'm uninterested in sports washing exercises. Al Nasser. Mm, Al one. Nasser, is that what it is? Yeah. As we got uh, a close up shot on uh, no board, one. Just waiting to go out and decimate dreams. Well, he's just not decimating the dreams of the drivers. I think he's decimating the dreams of Liberty Media. Mm. Famous, obviously, for being American. and. Uh, Who's that big bloke with the moustache? John Kerry. John Kerry. He's going to be poking <laughs> That's around. Not John Kerry. Isn't it? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there you go. Uh, Chase. Chase Kerry. Is it? Yeah. Chase Kerry. Is it actually? <laughs> it is. Chase Kerry's going to be poking around the back of the Red Bull garage, just like dropping banana peels. I, I don't and know like... why John Kerry sounds familiar. Oh. It's not, not uh, an NBA player from back in the day? Possibly. Kerry. Michael Jordan. No. No, he played football. Michael. Um... As we see, uh, actually, good question, James. Thoughts on uh, Lando Norris's lid? 
this kinda, year. Kind of weird. Kind of like it. Really? It's all right. I thought it was a massive letdown. It's just sort of a, a tiger, not tiger, a panther print. Kind yeah. Of. It's, um, a, it's all right. It's, um, given it's fine. Quite, given quite um, animalistic vibes. Animalistic vibes? Yeah. Well, you would be the expert on that, mate. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, As we've got some facility. beers that have just rolled in. Oh, excellent. How cold are they? How good is that? Don't know, mate. Finish you've cute. assumed that they're for you. Well, I, I mean, have. You know. Actually, this is the wrong way to assume these yeah, things. Exactly. And the, the worst thing about it is actually, from what I'm seeing, there's only four. I know. And we are five. Well, it's good. So it's going to be I'd, a fight to the death. I I broke up with beer. So, oh yeah, you have broke. No, you, since when? Yeah, since like the last time I had it. Yeah. As we uh, cars are heading out on track. To oh, the it's final a great gorillas hoodie from someone in the crowd there. Sorry. Gorillas hoodie. Who's gorillas? The gorillas, like the band. Oh, uh, is that? That one, Melancholy Hill. Dun, 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 dun. And you claim to be a fucking DJ. You can go fuck yourself, mate. Eleven minutes to go in this one. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> the best ones. <laughs> ah, who's, who's your who's your your bet for poll? Uh, Adrian Newey. <laughs> Quite a quite a famous Jeremy Clarkson yeah, quote. That love that. That's mate. That's gonna it, go down on the um, the Mark, Gridwalk Hall of Fame. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Who's your money on? Adrian, Adrian Newey. Newey. <laughs> Clark. As, uh, When's the next season of Clarkson's Farm coming out? Yeah, it's um, fairly soon. I think April. Really looking forward to yeah. April. Yeah, we're April. doing a lot of travelling in April. That's good. Yeah, a lot of time to uh, watch some. Watch it on the plane. Exactly. Watch some Clarkson's some Farm. stuff on the plane. All he right. has done and thing. <laughs> end thing I'm, I'm going to watch a bit of Clarkson tonight I guys. love a bit of Clarkson eh? as we've got Alonso setting off for his lap and it looks to be Charles Leclerc leading the pack across the line he's going to be setting his time first he's, he's, he's he not pushing. looks like he's not pushing there's another ball but interesting not often you see um, a build lap in Formula 1 well <sighs> Is, do you think the temperature is going to be dropping? Are they? Is the key in this part of qualifying going to be to be the last person to put a lap in? If that was the case, though, you wouldn't send your driver out first. No, but you might send him out on two build laps. And it is Ferrari. Yeah. So yeah. let's see. As Lewis Hamilton comes across, keeps it nice and clean he's through the end of the first sector. There, come across the line. Now. He's gone purple. Well, he's he's the only one out yeah. there. Um. He's not purple anymore Flies as uh, the team. next car comes by. It's George Russell. George Russell gets purple. Uh, PR George, famously known for uh, managing to remember every single sponsor on the car every time he uh, wins a race. Yeah, he would have been a great selection for Red Bull Cash App, Visa, Crypto, Bitcoin, MasterCard, uh, Apple Pay. Yeah. yeah. He would have been a good choice for that. Yep, no, definitely. As we see Hamilton going through Sector 2, they're lovely. Right of the car. Piastri Purple Sector 1 now. Well, I told you, those McLarens are fast. Yep, no, they are looking good. Pretty quick wagons. Um, he isn't quicker in Sector 1 anymore. He's done a pretty decent Sector 2. Let's have a look at what's going on right now. It looks tidy, but it doesn't look fast, that Mercedes. Do you know what I mean? That's the problem, I think, with that car. Mm. It's just it's not planted. Quick. It's planted, but it's, it's kind of... Slow. Yeah. It's quite literally planted. Yeah. Um, as we see Russell come across the line, he's put a bit of a gap between himself and his teammate. Half a second. And Piastri here to go to the top of the sheets, is he? No, yeah. splits the Mercedes. And you know what? That gap between Russell and Hamilton, that looks like a Ferrari contract. Yeah. Um, as we see Norris significantly slower than Piastri three tenths down on his teammate hell of a lap from Piastri yeah that is great guns as we've got Sergio Perez now going towards the line Verstappen purple Verstappen purple, purple. let's see what the last sector looks like <laughs> purple is my Jesus Christ they may as well fucking rename the team purple ball you're joking Perez has gone fastest by half a second over Russell oh god Alonso's just gone P2, oh, two tenths behind Perez. Oh, no. Lube up, ladies and gentlemen. This might be a massive lap from Max Verstappen. This looks to be one of those laps where he doesn't... E <laughs> Fucking it's hell. It's lumpy. Three and a half tenths on his teammate, who himself 
is a half a second faster than Russell. He's the only eight, man who can save this and a half tenths quicker. is Charles Leclerc. Yeah, but he can't, even Charles isn't strong enough. Let's see. Let's see. As he heads into sector two, we're going to get the timing beam. And he's half a second he's down half a on second off, mate. Do you know what? At this point, I think Max Verstappen doesn't even need to do a second run. No. No, he can, he can, he can go and have a drink. No, he can't. It's Saudi Arabia. True. He could have a Tifosi 0.0. He could have a Tifosi 0.0. That's absolutely right. And no, that's going to be a slow lap. There's a bit of a snap there for old Charlie Leclerc around the last corner. He's got his DRS open, but that won't be enough. Gee, he's not even as quick as Alonso. Eight tenths off. This has been... Exactly. <laughs> the faces <laughs> at Ferrari it, it just, tell a story, don't they? Well, it's just... I, I don't think anybody expected this. No. Even I didn't. Oh, that was a good lap from Alonso. Let's try again. Yeah, buddy. Good luck trying to find half a second. I myself have been in that situation. Fair play to Perez. It's not often we only see him a tenth off per sector. True that. <laughs> Usually he's more like five, six tenths off. Let's not forget, though, that, that uh, three tenths of a second, in generally speaking, when the field is quite grouped, quite close together, um, three tenths can be P6 for um, Perez sometimes. It would have been last mm. week. Yeah. But uh, he, is, he is three tenths off, but he's still, he's P2. still P2. Yeah. I think that proves a point. Um, the only thing I may be able to say is possibly some of the cars behind didn't put a new set because they may have used one earlier. That's the only thing that makes me say that those gaps are a little bit inflated. Yeah. Unlikely. Yeah. I think once again, it's just... Uh, the staff can park it. He can park it. Well, at this point, I don't see a 127.472 is the time to be. Oh, so no, they were on new tyres for uh, Charles Leclerc. Saying they feel very weird, though. Could it be an interesting one? And you go out there with the uh, with a fresh set and possibly go quicker. Yeah. Who knows? Wet tyres, I always found, were really odd like that. Yeah, well, it depends. It depends on the on the tyres, really. You, you do have different tyre manufacturers, James. Mm. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Michelin's before. Yeah. Have you heard of Pirelli's? Yes. Uh, Yokohama's? Is this, are, we, is, are you going somewhere with this or are you yeah, just yeah, naming? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've heard of Yokohama. So, uh, typically, uh, a Michelin or Yokohama would actually be faster on the second run. Mm. The Pirelli's, on the other hand, very quick out the box. And as per usual from Pirelli, yeah. they die a very fast death. Mm. So, um, yeah, no, we're uh, heading into the final four minutes of Q3. We've got four minutes and 20 seconds to go. Fernando Alonso, half a second down, now looking at his screen and probably gobsmacked. He's probably going, well, I'm not doing better than that. No. Clearly stating that it was an amazing lap too. Yeah. So uh, It's a Hamilton trick, that. As to sort of design a sort of, uh, wow, that was amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he did, did that see, thing when Mercedes, back when Mercedes were fast. He'd like create problems on the radio. Oh, uh, and then finish the race and be like, oh my God, I can't believe this thing that no one can tell whether or not it was broken during the race was broken and I still won. Guys. Yeah, um, no, he, he did like to create his own kind of scenario. Yeah. Um, quite good with those tires. Actually, he did it last weekend as well. Broken seat. Yes. Nobody noticed. All right. But, uh, well, quite hard to notice a broken seat, to be mm. fair. Um, I haven't seen a picture of the broken seat. But... Um, he was, hanging out, he was hanging out the back of his have seat. Have you seen a picture of the broken seat? I haven't, no. It would have been something on social media, I suppose, uh, had it been publicised. Verstappen's extremely slow, but not, not uh, in a rush to get out, out of the pit, pit box there. As you can see those shiny tyres there, the Pirellis. As the resin starts to scrub off. And the pores start to open up as the tyres heat up and get into temperature. There you go. Something like yep, that. yep, 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 yep. It does look more and more like Vegas. It is. Like a Disneyland kind of holiday park. It's a Vegas without the gambling. Yeah. And the booze. Yeah. Pretty much. But no. it, it does look cool. It's gambling without drinking or... Sorry, it's Vegas without drinking or gambling. Yeah. So it's no good. Well, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Back on board with Piastri, eight and a half tenths off. This has been a, 
I mean, what a cracking start to the session with Oli Behrman's antics. But this has turned into... Now we've lost Behrman, it's, 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 it's Formula One again, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like, oh, I forgot this show sucks. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> it's... As we've got uh, Lewis Hamilton, nice and early apex into T1. And he's looked like he was actually quite close to the wall there. Touchy, there touchy go. wall. Tips it in. Through five. Six. And he's uh, and then, he's looking quite like But again, said, it looks planted, but, but it, it doesn't looks look slow. fast. Yeah. yeah. He's just that not, shot there is telling yeah, he's just, he's not should really, be bumping and jumping over that thing and getting six over. Six tenths off, off in go. sector one. Yeah, what a shock. Woeful. Let's have a look at George Russell. Uh, probably quite similar in terms of George Russell is just abandoned. He's two seconds lap. off in sector one, so, so it clearly, might be tough to him to recover this lap. Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough ask. Lando Norris, only a tenth off uh, in sector one. Oh, yeah. Significant improvement, but uh, that McLaren's always been quick in sector one, high speed corners. Little bit more lacking in the slower speed corners. Sure. So let's have a look. There's not a lot of low speed corners on this circuit, though. Well, no, but the braking seems to mm. be quite a bit of a thing. Uh, Hamilton really just trying to make up some time to try and get close to his teammate. Currently half a second off. It's not looking too yeah, good from the that man. That thing just looks so Stevenage comfortable, doesn't it? As he's just moved. And Alonso. He's going to tow Alonso onto a beautiful tow. start of the lap here for Alonso. Beautiful, Fernando. Nine tenths off for Hamilton. Shock. Lando Norris has got a chance to try and make up so a Alonso, couple of spots. Alonso really is the only thing interesting to follow here, but instead we are looking at Norris for P8. Who's not improved. He's not improved. Oh, oh no, he, he has. has gone. He's up to P4. P4. bit slow on the graphics there. Yeah, Formula 1 not doing a stellar job there with the graphics, but uh, uh, we'll let okay, him off. Okay, so Alonso. And Piastri going for... Oh, he's in front oh, he's of done team, him. Mate. Good on him. Good on you, Piastri. What an absolute backbone. Doing him for half a time. There there's bugger all in it. And when you're Zach Brown, that's what you want to see, isn't it? Well, it is. Definitely, if, if your team's not winning, you want your drivers as close as they can be. Because Ricardo, well, he wouldn't have made it to P, he wouldn't have made it to Q3. Um, oh, yeah, no, yeah. Ricardo wouldn't have made it. Sonoda, doing a good job once again out qualifying his teammate after a pretty heated argument uh, last time out in, uh, in Jeddah. What did so, da- sorry, Bahrain. What did Daniel Ricardo and the Saudi and Arabia and Grand Prix have in common? They're both washed. <laughs> Charles Leclerc <laughs> up the gears. <laughs> that's a strong statement there from James, but that's what we like on Screaming Meals. <laughs> three tenths off, only three tenths. Good lap from Leclerc. So, reconfirming our suspicions that Verstappen needn't have bothered, and I don't even know if he has. I think he's gone for a little. He's bit. out there, but I don't know if he's. Fernando Alonso. Oh, and he doesn't improve. Only three tenths down. What about Stroll? Strolling for a good lap? Is it going to be a surprise? Nope. Well, it isn't. Mm. P10 for... I think Verstappen and Leclerc can pretty much call themselves neighbours in all walks of life now. They're well, going to be neighbours on the grid this year. They're neighbours back home in Monaco. They're neighbours. They were neighbours in karting. Yeah. Always starting around similar spots. Yes, Notably yes. The incidents between them two as Max Verstappen's just bailed out of his last lap. Doesn't even need to do it. Mm. How good. Yeah, well, there you go. Imagine showing up to work, doing half a job, and that being good enough. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> Your classic James and insurance kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, nothing new on the Formula One stage. The Max Verstappen show goes on. He'll be going for his ninth win in a row tomorrow to uh, tie Sebastian Vettel's record and uh, be only one behind his own. After, oh, is that uh, so? Yeah, very dominant last season, and he looks to be uh, starting off uh, the same way he I, finished. I think he actually could win every race this year. <laughs> well, that would be quite something. Um, I think that's the end of the sport, isn't it? If he wins every race? You actually need to just... Well... You actually need to bend the whole thing off well, and just start again. I, I'll just put the statistic for you in, in, in perspective. Uh, before 2021, his first championship year... Mm. Uh, so, actually, forget this. Say he wins every race this year, he will be on 79 wins in Formula 1. Yeah. Now, Max Verstappen had 10 wins before 2021. <laughs> Jesus. That would mean that in four years, he has won 69 races. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, so that's a, a record worth chasing. No, sorry. 64 races. Whatever. My maths is shit. Yeah, it is. It's appalling, actually. 
as he waves to the crowd there. 69, yeah, 69 races. That's yeah. what I mean. Mm. Good number. Um, that's it, mate. Well, yeah. Well, that's it, yeah. Not really join much us a, tomorrow. Yeah, join us tomorrow for another procession. Uh, I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to uh, chat some more shit as uh, the usual Formula One uh, antics will go on and uh, not much will be happening on track. So No, yeah, too right, mate. Can't and wait. tune in for Formula Two. Yes, absolutely. That Looking be, forward uh, to that. Cracking race. Uh, Ollie Behrman starting from pole. No, he's not. Uh, no, he's not, actually. He'll be, uh, <laughs> he'll be right You've up. Really, the wheels have really fallen off for you in the last part of the stream, haven't they? It's been a, it's been a rough day for old Novak, But, yeah. you know, we live, we learn, we fight. Indeed. And see you all tomorrow. Like that. Yeah, see you, team. Thanks. Cheers.